What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. Today I'm going to show you a swing trade I did on Tesla, which actually I ended up having to close early, but hey, it's because I made profit. Check it out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video here. Now, uh, on today's day, right, when I did this trade, I was not leading the chat room. Uh, the reason why I wasn't leading the chat room was I had not had a good night's rest the prior night. Uh, I had to take my dad into the ER. Those of you who have followed along know that my dad actually went through a uh, double organ transplant recently as February. I had to take him in for a quick little thing there. Uh, so far, it looks like everything's okay. And, uh, you know, chat was very understanding and very supportive and I thank everyone there for that. The team, Jonah and Kevin, thank you very much uh, for backing me up appreciate it and uh you know i did come into the day i wasn't going to leave the chat i made a watch list sent it in and i decided to just to sit back not be in chat because i didn't want to i knew i wasn't fully focused but i knew that i wanted to enter a tesla swing trade so i did enter this tesla swing trade i did send the alert into chat uh via the admin journal and then i came uh later on in the day to actually put my take profit out because Tesla hit my target. Um, I did not expect Tesla to make such a quick, fast move up there to my target. It actually exceeded my target by five points. So I am really happy with the way that trade worked itself out. Um, it was call options that I took and uh, it was a nice trade. Nice trade, uh, nice green day. Uh, instead of being a swing trade, it ended up being a day trade because, well, it hit my target. And that is part of the lesson, right? Uh, when you trade a plan, when your plan hits the levels, we must execute. What are we waiting for? Just because I said I was going to swing it maybe for a couple days doesn't mean that I'm not going to take profit when my profit target gets hit. You know, if my, if my horizon is 24 hours or 48 hours on the swing trade and my target gets hit within 45 minutes, why would I not take profit? My target was hit. My plan was executed. It is time to take my profit. So I'm going to show you why I took the swing trade and where I entered and took profits. All right, guys. So we're going to jump into the charts here. But before we do, you know what time it is. Help out with the YouTube algorithm and smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Also, comment in the comment section below anything you want. Question, I will come around and answer it. If I don't have the answer, we'll find it together. If you want to just say hi, say hi. And that's perfectly fine. I will say hi right back. I will answer each and every single comment. It really helps out tremendously. Let's jump into the charts. All right, so here you have the Tesla intraday chart today, okay? But before we jump into that and I show you the setup, let's go ahead and check out the daily on Tesla. Now, I've been eyeing Tesla for this $700 level for probably weeks now because it has found resistance there multiple times. See, previous resistance here, support here, resistance here, it breaks through it comes back underneath it, breaks through it, comes back underneath it, hard pullback, comes back up, cannot hold above it, breaks, doesn't, resistance, 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 resistance. Do you see the pattern, my friends? <laughs> it's constant resistance. We finally get one pullback here. And I said, I've been saying, you know, for days now, guys, I'm keeping eyes on Tesla because this pullback, you know, it's not shying away really from that $700 level. It's not scared. Right? It's like I'm thinking about it like its own thing, right? Like it's an it's an animal, it's a living, breathing thing. It's like it's not afraid. It's not afraid. It's 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 like, oh, I can't get through, but you know what? I'm looking for ways in, right? I'm looking for ways to crawl underneath the fence or jump over it, whatever it is. I'm looking for ways through that barrier. And on this day right here, I was like, man, this this was a pretty strong pullback, but it got bought up. Look, that day right there. And then I didn't enter the swing trade there because we had the 9 a.m. I'm sorry, we had the 100 day moving average right here, that white line, okay? Right there at 7, 701. And then we had the 50 day moving average up here around 714 or so. And I'm like, man, that's, that's potential resistance there. Plus, you know, the $700 level did extend upwards of 715, 720. This is 720. These are 720s. These are like 713s, right? So and there's a lot to contend with there. So I said, you know what? I'm going to wait for the day that Tesla breaks through that level, pulls back, and gives me a little test. 
And if it holds that level, and then I'm going to jump in for the swing trade, looking for potentially uh, 735 as my take profit, the mid 730s. And why would why is that my take profit? Well, look at it right here. That's 735 right in here on this candle, which coincides with these two candles back here in the mid 730s, upwards of 740s. Okay, so I'm like, you know what? I know myself. There's a swing trade on Tesla. Um, I'm probably only going to take maybe one or two contracts. I only got one on this trade. So I was like, I'm going to manage my risk very carefully with it because uh, I have to be prudent. And instead of holding for my second take profit on this, I'm probably just going to take it on my first take profit, which would have been 735. Had I had my second contract, I would have been looking to take it off over the 740 area. High of day today on Tesla is 740.84. Okay, so I'm going to show you now where my entry was. All right, and uh, then we'll go from there. Before I do, if you want to come trade with us free on Mondays, go to the link in the description section and comment section. I'm going to leave you a link, especially in the comment section. I'm going to leave you a link right there. Boom. Free chat Mondays. You can come trade with us for free on Mondays. Now, you're just going to have access to the live trading portion, but we are much more than that. We have a full dashboard with video lessons. Okay courses already more resources all right like chart patterns news feeds everything you can possibly need to study and learn from we're going to have it there in the dashboard but you're not going to have access to that on free chat mondays free chat mondays is just free chat you're getting access to chat that's it you're not getting access to dashboards if you want to get access to a um a, a, a test drive of the dashboard with the chat then i have another link there for you You can come check us out for five days for five bucks you're going to get access to a course to many of the resources not all of them and uh, it's kind of like a little test drive so you can see take a feel for it and i'm telling you right now a lot i would say the majority of traders that we have in chat that have come through that section like the free the free chat and then the the five day for five bucks have turned into full-time members. Why? Because they see the value and the emphasis we put on education. Let's go ahead and jump into the intraday chart here. So this morning, Tesla with a big gap up. That big gap up hurt because yesterday I was eyeing some 7.30, I think it was a 7.30 calls, all right, uh, um, April 23rd expiration. They were at 26 bucks. Those things got upwards of 40 bucks at, at, at one point in here today. Where are they right now? I'll tell you right now where they're at. Let's take a look together. Okay, so now, now they're at 32 bucks. That's weird. Maybe it was the 700 calls that I was actually looking at. Yeah, there you go. They're at 50 bucks. Monster move. Anyways, so this morning, what I did was I got the 750 calls. I got the 750 calls on this pullback right in here. On this pullback right in here, I got the 750 calls, okay? Initially, my stop was if Tesla got under 715. Um, let me make sure here, 745, yeah. Uh, if Tesla got under 715, that was my initial, my initial uh, stop. Once Tesla made this move, my, initial st my new stop became the VWAP okay on that swing trade and this tesla did not disappoint i got in here at 1625 on those calls boom we got the pop and then we got some sideways consolidation and then we got that move boom this is an explosive move because look tesla doesn't move like it used to generally speaking anymore but it still has really really good range really good range so on this push right in here i had said my my profit target is 735 that's my profit target it's 735 we get that push straight to 735 we start to consolidate here for a minute and i look over at the charts i'm like well i mean that's my profit target and i was like i gotta take profit so i took profit at 20 bucks from 1625 i was like hey that's a really good trade that's a really good trade. Obviously, these calls didn't move up uh, as fast. I would have preferred, I would have thought that maybe we'd be, when we were up here, we'd be instead of at 20, maybe about 24 bucks, 23 bucks, but we weren't. I was like, hey, you know what? It doesn't matter because Tesla hit my target on the chart and I have to take my profit. So boom, I booked my profit right there. And well, you know, 
Shortly after that, boom, Tesla just exploded another five points. Just a monster, monster, monster trade. Honestly speaking, I would have been better off. I would have been better off just buying 100 shares, which I easily could have, instead of the calls. Those calls were a little disappointing. Okay, because I could have bought these. You know, I bought the calls in here at seven, where Tesla was like at 724. I could have bought 100 shares. And had I sold them up here at 735, that's 10 points. That's 10 points is $1,000. That would have been a better trade in this case, right? That would have been a much better trade in this case. I thought those calls were going to be, we're going to have a little bit more punch to them than the share price itself. I was wrong. It's okay. It happens. The good thing is I managed my risk. I took my profit on my profit target and I moved out of the way. And that's fine. I booked a green day and on a day like today, everyone in chat was green as well. I checked in when I punched, when I jumped in there to put out my alert, I checked in, everyone was green. We ran our polls and it was killer day. We put polls every single day and you can see them in your dashboard as well. All right, guys, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I'll catch you on the next one.